A ceasefire between Israel and Islamic Jihad was reached at 5.30 a.m. Israel time, the IDF confirmed. However, Gaza-based terrorists have continued to fire rockets into Israel during the day on Thursday. Red alert sirens sounded in the city of Nitivot and in the Eshkol and Stot Negev regions. Israeli citizens were warned to follow safety protocols. Israel's new defense minister, Naftali Bennett, said the new rules of the game are clear. The IDF will act with complete freedom of action with no restrictions. Bennett made his remarks in light of Israel's recent targeted killing of an Islamic Jihad commander. Bennett, a former education minister, had in the past urged a more aggressive response from the IDF toward Gaza rocket attacks. Israel may be closer to a unity government than previously thought. Columnist Mati Tuchveld of Israel Hayom reports that Netanyahu's move to bring in new right leader Naftali Bennett as defense minister has scuttled the opposition party's plan to establish a government without the current prime minister. Blue and white leader Benny Gantz had hoped it would be possible to entice Bennett to switch sides, Tuchveld reports. Linda Sarsour is on the verbal warpath again against Israel, charging the Jewish state with pushing propaganda against the Gazan people, even as Israel has been at the receiving end of hundreds of rockets from the Gaza Strip over the past few days. They have stripped the Palestinians of their humanity to justify the indiscriminate killings, including of children, Sarsour tweeted on Wednesday. Her remarks appeared to ignore Israel's efforts to avoid civilian casualties.